And magically, there's the cave again. All right, you were just in outer space, and now here's the cave again. Shamefully missed one of those enemies. And then up here, there's some serious horse shit. He flies right through those mines or something. Yeah, right there. He flies through those mines and doesn't get fucked. If only you as the player were so lucky. Hell, he just flew through a nuke. Must be piloted by that one bad motherfucker in Contra who was able to hold on to a nuke with one hand. Man, Shin looks like a total chick. I never will understand how that is supposed to be a dude. Never. And it really defeats the purpose of the game. There should be a female character that the character you are using gets to hit at the end. I maintain that. Every good video game has that. Double Dragon has that. Right? I mean... It's just an absolute. This game, like Castlevania 1, like Contra 3, although Contra is implied, fails miserably. It's three dudes. I mean, it's another homoerotic game. It's very disappointing. And then there's, you know, this sort of flight home sunset shit that... There's this kind of scenic sunset thing that totally loses any effect because of the homoeroticism, because of the raging testosterone of the characters. Well, the raging testosterone of one of them, the moderate testosterone of one, and the estrogen from the tranny, who is Shin. So the, the ending just totally loses significance, except for the fact that you can breathe a sigh of relief that you just went through what nobody in the United States military will ever, ever understand. Luke Skywalker has dick on these guys, okay? Not, not even these guys, you, okay? They talk up this shit like the other two were helping you, but where, where do you ever see them? Where do they ever help you? Never! You can buy their planes and fly them, but the other pilots, they just fly in and take credit for what you did. Which is part of the reason I like to use Greg also, because Greg actually deserves what he gets. Ugh. At least you can live with the satisfaction that you have Clint Eastwood's airplane. I mean, it doesn't get much more badass than that. <sighs> yeah, considering all the difficulty that you have to go through to beat this on hard, unless you're some sort of masochist, I wouldn't fuck with gamer mode. Because if you think those blue bitches that spew all that shit at you are bad, just imagine what they alone will do to you in gamer mode. Where their rate of fire is at least doubled, probably. Imagine that fucking cave boss. Holy fuck. So after the very homoerotic ending, you get this creepy shit. Now, I have no fucking clue what that little dude walking across the screen is. You never see anything like it in the game. I mean, what the hell is this? Is this lemmings or something? I, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I mean, it's like a total cock block, the end of this game. You've got all men. You've got that one creepy motherfucker with the X crossed into his head who's giving you all the briefings. You've got that creepy old ass stalker dude who sells you the weapons. And then you have these things. I mean, are these the crabs that you get from that fucking ceiling boss? Are they thanking you for playing the game and giving them a new place to live, a new pubic region to infest? I, I mean, I would partly want to know and partly not want to know because it's so disturbing to me. But we still love you in Squadron because it is an excellent rail shooter that has Mad Sack. It is the contra of rail shooters in many ways. Certainly better than fucking Gradius's ass. Fucking one hit kill shit. 
And as always, if you have a suggestion or a request, please feel free to send it in. Remember, these are for your entertainment, not just mine. <laughs>